I had always wanted to make a movie with a strong female protagonist, and I was just looking for a... No? Liar. It's very true. That's true. <laughs> um, and I was looking for a venue for it. And when uh, uh, some people I knew from Buffalo, because I grew up in Buffalo, started talking about um, these horrible debt collectors that are from our hometown. I thought that was a great venue to tell a story of, uh, of a woman being as bad as they are. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, Strong female protection. Judy, I said one sentence. Yeah, I know, it's more fun this way. I read Brian's brilliant script. They were looking for a director. And actually, how I came to it is that after being down to, I think, the top two choices for about seven big studio films and the guy got it every time. I called my agent and said, only send me movies with women shooting people because I was so pissed off. And the first scene of this is Zoe's character, Peg, with a giant gun in the air uh, yelling, don't fuck with my fucking money. <laughs> Hi, internet. And um, I knew I had to make the film. It was not a question. Uh, yeah, I was I was working here in New York. I was doing a movie called Set It Up, and I I was I was like reading a bunch of scripts, and I nothing was um speaking to me. And I and Brooke, um, who's our amazing producer, sent me uh, Buffaloed, and I lost my shit. And I thought it was fucking brilliant, and I um I came on board, and I started working with Brooke, and we um we were on a quest to find the perfect, amazing Tanya Wexler. And um, and we did, and I, um, uh, yeah, w I met you and I <laughs> just was like, there's, she's amazing. And um, yeah, that the rest was history. I won a contest on a radio um, yeah, call-in talk show. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, all the things love the script, love the strong female protagonist, uh, loved Zoe. Um, really loved your script. Hadn't met you, but now I Thank love you. him. And then Tanya and I had a kick-ass Skype meeting, which we both hate, but it it's was not my favorite it, it had to happen because <laughs> I was in LA and she's in New York, and um, yeah, I fell in love with her. And I just love Buffalo really um, as a place and the people who live there and my father went to college there I, in a lot of ways I feel like I because I've had a, I've had the opportunity to play a one-dimensional female character in a male-driven comedy before and that's really hard because you can't do anything you can't no matter how much work you do no matter how hard you try no matter how much you want to add depth and humor and heart and soul into that they don't want you to and that's you are a part of a collaborative process and at the end of the day you are at the mercy of somebody else's de uh, many decisions so i know that that's really hard and now i've uh, ha i've been lucky enough to get to play a couple like baller badass motherfuckers <laughs> including peg um and it's just not hard in the same way. So I know maybe that's not, I, I, I didn't, I know I didn't answer the question about what's your approach, but um, there's a, there's a, there's so much given to me by the amazing writer. You also, Zoe was a producer on the film too. So you, she was like a part of it from the very, very beginning and your binder of your script Holy had cow, that binder. every <laughs> single page that had ever been written in it. And I loved it. It was like, she knew Every single step of the way, like every little minute change that had been made, she had tracked in your script, and it was really uh, like you worked so hard. Like you were never not working on making it better. So I don't know. You say like I don't know what I did, but like you worked so hard, and it was really inspiring. Meanwhile, like all the pages are just like, what's for lunch? <laughs> I am really in the mood for watermelon juice. Oh my god, they watermelon have sushi <laughs> here? Yeah. Ew, the watermelons in Toronto suck. Yeah. I mean. To add on to what Ju Judy was saying, uh, as being an actor for many years, I learned from Zoe about preparation and getting into the script the way you did. I mean, we met every Sunday before that week of shooting and went over every page that we were gonna shoot that week. You were you were in from the beginning, and it was it was uh, admirable. It was something I learned. I learned a lot from you on set about. It made How me feel to guilty and lazy. Yeah. I didn't learn anything from Judy. God. I think I got dumber being around Judy. <laughs>